I want to take you back to last week. Last week, uh, it was October 31st to be exact, Halloween. Emily Oster wrote an article for The Atlantic in which she asked for amnesty. That's right, amnesty. She said, let's declare a pandemic amnesty. That was the headline emblazoned across the top of the article. She then gently asked for us to focus on the future and solve the problems that are still, well, they're still among us. Okay, Emily, I for one would like to solve the problems that are still among us. In fact, I'm quite passionate about those problems. Now, in the article, Emily, you stated that there were those of you who were working hard against medical misinformation and the dangerous practices that ensued from its propagation. You stated, and I quote, the public health community had to spend a lot of time and resources urging Americans not to inject themselves with bleach. That was bad, end quote. No, it wasn't, Emily. No, it wasn't. No one, no one was trying to inject themselves with bleach. And everyone with a modicum of common sense knew that when Donald Trump said that, he was joking. He was a joke. We all knew that. However, you and your medical tyranny ilk needed a horse to ride, and that's the one you jumped on, making you guilty of the propagation of medical misinformation. It was your fault. It was a joke that would have gone in one ear and out the other. Uh, but you just could not leave it alone. And while we're solving problems, let's talk about this so-called vaccine that you now know does not work. Folks like yourself stated over and over that if you got the jab, not only would you not get COVID, but you wouldn't spread it either. We knew that was a lie, and we told you so, but we were shut down. We were deplatformed and canceled. You took our voice away, and now you want us to use our voices to say, we forgive you. Sorry, we just don't have the voice for that. And while career criminal George Floyd received several nationwide funeral services attended by politicians, race baiters, and grifters galore, we couldn't visit our grandparents in the nursing home or the hospital. We sat in hospital parking lots while our wives suffered miscarriages inside. We could not have weddings or funerals. We were arrested for attending church or not wearing masks in the right places. Uh, we told you that the masks wouldn't work in the manner in which you legally enforced them everywhere from airplanes to shopping malls. You forced those masks on our children and you forced our children to be held back developmentally and educationally. You slapped a mask on them too and then put them behind plexiglass or behind a computer screen to learn from a distance and ultimately you didn't care if they learned at all. You refused to listen to medical professionals that had treatments that differed from Big Brother's prognosis because Big Brother stood to profit as a merchant of death. You stood by while mortality rates climbed. You ignored the facts that comorbidities and obesity were the real cause of death. When international travel was shut down, you called us racist. You cursed common sense and you cussed those who voiced it. Still to this day, you refuse to talk, to, uh, talk about the side effects that come with getting an untested vaccination and all of its subsequent boosters that you continue to promote. During the lockdowns, we saw an economy economy plunge and jobs and businesses were lost that will never return people with cancer and other life-threatening illnesses were refused treatment and even testing because of the myth of clinic and hospital overcrowding while nurses danced on tiktok people postponed life-saving practices and ultimately lost their lives because of your lies yet you claim in the article that you just didn't know you just didn't know how can you be held responsible for something you just didn't know? You're not asking for forgiveness. Why should you be accountable for something that was a mystery to you? You feign ignorance when there were those like myself who were consistently punching through the smoke and illusion and pointing to the truth. How can that be? How is it that those of you who claim to be educated among the elite could be so ignorant when common folks like myself were dead on target? Are you sorry? Are you? No, you're not. You claim ignorance as an excuse, yet truth was, uh, it, was it was it was never something you sought in the first place. You didn't want truth. It was all about a precious agenda. You needed the world to go to hell so you could put the blame on Donald Trump. And then you needed a cure to bring us out of the pandemic and save us all. In short, you needed this current administration to look like the savior. You see, if the left could save the world from COVID, then maybe they could stay in power forever. But your house of cards fell. Because that's what happens to houses of cards. Eventually, they always fall. You say you want amnesty, but you're not sorry. This is not your way of asking for forgiveness for what has been one of the most egregious human rights violations the world has ever known. This is your way of forgiving yourself so that ultimately when you need power, you can do it all over again. So, Emily, f*** you. Welcome to the show.